Hey guys, welcome to my channel and today we're gonna look at all the palettes that I've picked out three months ago for my kind of summer palette collection and we're gonna talk through how much I used them, what was kind of um, which ones became my favorite, which ones I reached out for uh, more and which ones maybe I didn't really reach out all that much uh, for. So I'm gonna go in the... So... There is eight palettes, there were obviously other palettes that I was using. I think I've pretty much used all my palettes throughout the summer uh, in some shape or form. And I've bought a couple palettes that were like summer themed but weren't in this collection because I made this video I think it was beginning of May so so some of the newer palettes like uh, Delicious Delights by Cosmic Brushes or the Scooby Doo palette uh, from Limelight and stuff like that I didn't have that uh, previously um, so this is only gonna be the palettes that I mentioned in the uh, summer palette video that I will link uh, in the corner here. And uh, we're gonna start with the Winnie the Pooh palette from uh, Colourpop. This one is like a year old palette. I think it came out uh, last year for spring actually. And this palette, as you can see, it's not all that used up but um at the beginning of summer i've had 30 uses on this palette and i've used it six times uh throughout summer which is quite a lot considering that this is like a neutral palette and i don't go for neutrals all that much and it's more of like a like a nostalgic palette more than a than a makeup uh palette so I've used it six times throughout summer, which I think is pretty good. And I will definitely use it some more um, before the year ends. I usually go for this palette when I just need a really quick look and I have to be somewhere where I have to look appropriate. So you have a lot of the neutrals, pinks and stuff like that. So, you know, when I had like exams um, at school or any like important events I would usually reach for this one because it has all the neutrals. Then I have the Hella palette by Udin's Eye in collaboration with Angelica Nyquist. I've started out with 30, uh, 37 uses on this palette and now we're at 44 so I haven't used it all that much. Um, I'm kind of a little bit careful about this palette nowadays because I don't want to risk ruining it because it's just such a beautiful palette and I always want to keep it but I will definitely use it some more. I've I've tried a lot of palettes, well I think I've tried like six palettes throughout summer or something like that which is a lot and obviously that made, that meant that I didn't have all that much time to use this palette because I usually create like five looks for a review video then I try to use it at least like 10 times before uh, the monthly review and I also try to use kind of all uh, all of my collection not just the seasonal 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 palettes so obviously they, I don't rotate as quickly through all of them especially since I have like 25 palettes or so but yeah so I've used it seven times and I'll definitely use it some more in autumn or even later. I I usually go for these pinks at the end of the year and greens are kind of my all year um, all year car colors so I will definitely use it some more. Then I have the Serpent palette uh, by Makeup Beauty Shop in collaboration with Marta's Makeup. This is a relatively new palette. I think it came out like spring this year. So obviously it's fairly new. And as I said, I had a lot of things to uh, 
uh, to film, so I didn't have a lot of time. But I started out on um, seven uses, and now, uh, now we're on thirteen uses. So I've been able to use it six times, which I feel like is quite a lot. I love these mats. I love the shimmers, and I will use it uh, more in the in the autumn season as well because I think there are also really pretty autumnal colors um, and yeah I love these colors and I love Makeup Beauty Shop's formula I definitely want to try more palettes from them so that's that one then we have the Solmane, uh, Solmane 2 palette by Odin's Eye this one came out like a year ago, I think. It was uh, the end of summer of last year. This is how she looks like. As you can see, there are quite a bit of dips in the palette. Like, I feel like if I tried, I could actually hit pan pretty quickly. Uh, last year, I've used this palette all the time. Like, pretty much since it came out. And to the release of the Christmas palettes, I've pretty much only used this palette for like, I don't know, three months or I don't know how long. So yeah, I love this one. I was able to use it eight times, so we started on 37 uses and now we're at 45 uses, which is pretty good, uh, I think. Um, and I will definitely use this one some more because I just love these colors. I think it's so beautiful. I love the mattes. Uh, I love the, the fact that it goes from lightest to darkest. And it's definitely a really fun color story. Then we have the uh, Colourpop and Tinkerbell palette, the Sprinkle A Little Magic. This one is a very like all green uh, type of palette. I will show you a little bit more close up. Don't mind this shade, this one is a Terra Moons uh, shade because um, there was like a matte light shade that was very similar to this one so i just kind of popped it off popped it out and and replaced it but uh so i i didn't count it this shade for the overall uh, number of uses i count this one separately so the tinkerbell i was able to use it eight times which is pretty good considering that it's like small palette and it's a very monochromatic palette so i Feel like eight times is pretty good i've actually i've took it to both of my vacations uh like a shorter type of vacation and i used it a lot also because i think i'm gonna want to pen it eventually so uh, i've tried to use it quite a bit and yeah i really like it and i like um using it together with my other Colourpop palette, so with the Winnie the Pooh palette and also with the Legend of Korra palette that will come out, uh, come up soon. So yeah, eight times, and I'm super happy about that. Um, I think it's definitely a good number for the fact that this is like a very small palette. And I mostly use these two mattes and then these two shimmers. Um, and sometimes this one. These two aren't really my favorite. I usually use them in um, together with the Terra Moons shade if I if I want to. So that's this this little one. And again, it's kind of like the neutral palette for me. When I just want to do like one of my signature looks, I usually will go for this one because for me, green is neutral. So that's that. Now we have, uh, and we went from. 12 uses to 20 uses so we're, we're getting somewhere i've pretty much only used this palette um i've got this palette like november last year but i properly used it this year i think uh last year i only used it like twice so not bad uh then we have the adventure palette by game beauty this is a very beautiful palette, but I just don't reach for it all that often because it's not that pigmented and I don't really have 
like if I want greens I rather reach for this if I want so I usually only reach for the uh, browns and the orangey gold and because I was panning the uh, Odin's Eye Mini first palette I didn't reach for this palette that much either because uh, these two shades were kind of similar to the ones that I had in the mini palette and I wanted to use it up so now, now maybe I will be able to you know touch it a little bit more once in a while but I wasn't able to do that before so that's kind of for this one I've used it three times uh, we started on 18 uses and now it's 21 uses so uses so it's only only three times but as i said like th these aren't my favorite because they're very they're not very pigmented and the shimmers aren't all that sparkly i mean the orangey one is very nice and then obviously this glittery one but apart from that the other ones are kind of a little bit more disappointing uh, in that regards. But I still like this palette and I think it's beautiful. So I'm still gonna keep it. Then the uh, Game Beauty Fantasy palette. I also used this one only three times. Because this one has a lot of pastel shades that don't really show up all that much. And then the blue ones. I have better blues here so that's why i didn't really reach for this one and also since the legend of Korra is newer in my collection and i was still reviewing it i got to actually use it a lot throughout summer and as i said when i wanted blues i went for this but i will soon show you how how she looks like uh on the inside but yeah i didn't really use this one a lot only three times we went from 17 uses to 20 uses I quite like the shade uh, Ethereal because that one is pretty sparkly and it's very beautiful but it's more like a toppery shade so that's that but yeah she's also beautiful and I like like the color cover art of these palettes and then lastly we have the Legend of Korra from Colourpop Again, don't mind this shade because this one is the Nomad Cosmetics Royal Orb shade. Mm, there was like a neutrally brown, which I don't really need. So that's that. Here is how she looks like. You can see that she's actually pretty well used. I mean, especially these four shades, you can see that they almost don't have the imprint. The blue one pretty much doesn't. Um, I mostly use this palette for the blue shades, especially the matte ones, because they're beautiful sometimes for the oranges uh, and reds because i don't actually have red shade shimmer well i have shimmer shimmery red in the solmona palette i believe and there's a red shade in the merry christmas palette from Odin's eye but it's not that good so i mostly used it for the blues and then sometimes for the greens and i really love this palette i've used it 11 times which is quite a lot um and we went from 10 uses to 21 uses so that's pretty well used palette considering that it's new for me but yeah i love the mattes here like those are the ones that i usually reach for i love this green shimmer shade i've also reached for this one a couple times and yeah i'm trying to use this shade a lot in my inner corner and lower lash line because it's one of those like squishy jelly formulas and I kind of, it doesn't work on my lids so I want to use it up quickly uh, so that I can replace this shade with something else and I've also found out that you can use it on your cheeks it's actually a pretty nice highlighter if you want like a really frosty uh, highlighter which with the blue shades I, I thought that that would be cool and I will use it in winter a lot so that's this palette love her and i will use her whole bunch more because i just believe that she she's really nice and as i said i love the mats here so that's it for this for this video 
So overall, I was able to use all of these palettes 52 times, which that's almost two months, so uh, I think that's good. Uh, I don't always use just one palette for a look, usually, um, and you can you could see that in my Get Ready With Me's, I use two or three, sometimes even, uh, or sometimes even three palettes for a look, because that's just kind of how I work. Because sometimes like I like more matte shades from the palette, sometimes I like more the shimmers, sometimes I don't have like inner corner highlight or darker shade or something like that, so I usually kind of mix and match. So yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, let me know if you liked it. This is the first time that I did a video like this. I usually just put out the seasonal um, collection, but I don't really come back to like review it so i hope uh, this was helpful and also just kind of to see how much somebody like me who also reviews makeup and has like multiple palettes uh how i used those how i use those palettes and how often i i actually use them and i think like a pro i used every palette approximately like five to six times which in the span of three months which i believe is pretty okay job or pretty decent job so i hope this was helpful let me know how often do you rotate your palettes or if you only have a couple of palettes and you use them all the time as i said i have approximately 25 palettes so you know um Technically, if I use them, if I would rotate them uh, by some kind of list and like use all of them once and then rotate again, I would pretty much use all palettes just like, I don't know, 13, uh, 13, 14 times in a year, which isn't enough. That's why I A, combine them and B, uh, try to kind of you know, really go through my collection and because I rotate it so often and try to use all the palettes all the time, I can easily spot if some of my palettes just don't work uh, anymore or if I just fell out of love with them or they're just no longer my preference and I can just declutter it. That's also why I don't really, I don't think I'll ever film like declutter videos uh, because when I notice a palette doesn't work for me, I immediately give it away or, or, you know, take it out and I don't really wait for, you know, end of the year or uh, for a certain um, time in the year to declutter it, I just immediately, it immediately goes out, so yeah, anyways, um, that's it for today's video, let me know if you found this video helpful, uh, definitely let me know what were your most used palette palettes in summer and let me know if you're excited for autumn because I am and I just I can't wait for all the Halloween and autumn inspired looks that will be super fun so yeah that's it have a great day and I will see you soon bye